We have the pleasure to uh, receive here at the Aswan Forum space His Excellency Per Axel Frilingsdorf, the Chargé d'Affaires of the Embassy of Sweden in Cairo. Sweden is a strategic partner of the second edition of the Aswan Forum. Could you elaborate a bit about you know, Sweden's expectations also having been a strategic partner for the first edition? Thank you very much. Um... For Sweden, it comes uh, quite natural to be a strategic partner again. The African continent is so full of potential and yet it hasn't been fully realized. And now, uh, unfortunately, set back even more by the COVID-19 pandemic. So I think uh, the S1 Forum is really important in that it brings together all the key stakeholders. You have uh, the African countries, the African Union, the United Nations, uh, civil society, private uh, companies and uh, many of the development banks. So everyone is really here who can talk about this and really bring together how sustainable peace and sustainable development can be linked together better so that we can uh, both recover stronger and build back better. And uh, for Sweden, uh, our foreign policy is built on uh, international law, human rights, gender equality and uh, humanitarian perspective and uh, we've long been uh, supporting peace across the world. So for us, uh, it really makes sense to be a strategic partner to the S1 Forum, as we're also a strategic partner to the African Union and many of its member states. Uh, the second edition, uh, uh, also as the first edition, had a, a, a preparatory process uh, with a number of, of workshops that addressed some of the, uh, the pressing challenges facing the African continent that then feed into the discussions at the S1 Forum. But we also, going forward, uh, wish to put a greater emphasis on implementation and follow-up working with our strategic partner and also the institutions of these partners that are relevant also for the work of the forum. Could you elaborate on how you see this process going forward? Well, thank you very much. And I think uh, this is really one of the key things for us that make the S1 Forum stand out, is that you have the preparatory phase. So it's not just during the forum, but actually before that many of the topics have been uh, turned over and uh, looked into and then you have the conclusions like we saw the last forum and then the implementation phase and I think this is one of the few forums that actually has that and this is very much in line with how we as Sweden like to work we like to consider our diplomacy as uh, listening being active and based on dialogue and this is exactly what you see at the S1 forum and then we're also very excited, uh, just like after the first forum, we have uh, an advanced cooperation uh, with CIPRI in Sweden and with the Folke Bernadotte Academy. And this year we will dedicate, like we did last year, a special session of the Stockholm Forum to the follow-up and conclusions of the S1 Forum. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Uh, Your Excellency, you attended the first edition of the S1 Forum. Uh, what key issue or recommendation from that first edition um, you, you think this second edition also should uh, further take forward and elaborate upon? Well, I think one thing which was uh, really highlighted during the first uh, session was post-conflict reconstruction and development, which goes natural also as, of course, Egypt is the African Union champion for post-conflict reconstruction and development. And this is very much in line with uh, three of um, Sweden's key priorities, which are conflict prevention, gender equality, and peace building. And those three all go together because they're all needed to have post-conflict reconstruction and development. And I think that's something where we've seen the S1 Forum throughout the workshops and also now looking forward to the implementation phase to see how we can have even more concrete outcomes on how to do that. And I think Egypt as its role as the African Union champion, but also as the chair of the Peacebuilding Commission is in a unique place to do that. And Sweden looks forward to partnering on this as we move forward beyond the S1 Forum as well. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you for uh, visiting us at the S1 Forum space, and we look forward to working with you going forward. Thank you. Thank you very much.